it's Corey from Alien Laser Cleaning and today I want to talk about our machines that we actually put up for sale as of last week. It's now public. It's been private for quite a while. We've been in the industry for over 10 years doing laser cleaning as a service and I want to talk to you today about these machines here that you see to my right shoulder. Uh, we're going to go over what they are, how they work, uh, the price points per se, and we'll go from there. So as you can see, we only currently have four cases, but every case can hold different style of equipment. We have what's called a pulse machine, which is basically the white glove approach to laser ablation and cleaning and restoration. And then we have what's called a continuous wave laser. It is for the commercial type projects, the industrial type projects, and it's the get her done style machine. Not to say that the pulse machine's not that, because it can do the same thing. It's just the continuous wave machine is more aggressive, and it's a little bit rougher on the substrate. It doesn't harm the substrate, but it's just get her done. The pulse machine usually is for light uh, duties, such as uh, removing paint, uh, antiques, uh, kitchen cabinets, and stuff like that, uh, removing the uh, stain off of wood, um, chrome, ro corrosion on chrome, and so forth, uh, tile, kitchen tile, bathroom tile, uh, and stuff like that, jewelry, you know. So that's kind of the differences in the two machines, and you can always give us a call at the number right there if you, if you have more detailed questions, and we'll go from there. So I actually want to d display our heaviest machine. When I say heaviest, I mean the, the strongest style case. Uh, this is about three and a half feet tall, close to four feet tall. Uh, it weighs anywhere from 450 pounds to 628 pounds, depending upon the equipment you get in it. We use this case for our 500 watt pulse. We also use it for our 1,000-watt um, pulse, and in some cases, we put the 2,000-watt continuous wave in there, and we also put in our 3,000-watt um, uh, continuous wave in there. Uh, for the most part, th this style machine is for those, because it's got the 5-inch wheels on it as well. Uh, it's for rolling on the outdoors. You don't have to be on a concrete surface or anything. Um, you can take it anywhere. You know, and a lot of times, a lot of cases, the uh, the uh, structure of such of the floor isn't always concrete. Sometimes it's rock, so you need those big ones. Next, we have what's called the miniature version of our our big case. Now, we usually typically use this case for the 300 watt pulse and 300 watt pulse air cooled and water cooled, but mainly for air cooled. We also use this for our 1500 watt air cooled continuous wave. Uh, and it's it's pretty good. It's just a miniature version. Uh, it weighs about 240, depending upon the equipment that you put in it as well. Um, again, what you're seeing, well, what you're not seeing is this little green part right up here. That's where all the wand and, and the hose is. It winds up, the door lifts up. You've probably seen that in some of my other videos. Um, and then you've got your plug on the side and you've got the air valve on the side as well. Most cases, people are getting the 300 watt air cooled pulse because uh, it's just lighter. Uh, it's close to 200 pounds. It's so much easier to use. You don't have to worry about water. You don't have to worry about water tanks or anything like that. And that's what people are getting. Next up, we have our, uh, in this case, this is showing our 100-watt pulse machine. <clears throat> we don't really sell a whole lot of these because this 100-watt pulse is kind of for the, the hobbyist. It, it's a very, very light machine. Uh, it can't do a whole lot of work fast. So if you've got a bunch of projects to do, this is probably not the machine for you because it's uh, really, really slow. It can do all of it, though. It can uh, clean uh, rust, paint removal, uh, stain removal, uh, tile, uh, corrosion, uh, graffiti, 
it can do it. It's just going to take you longer to do it, and that's why we don't really like selling those to people that are doing industrial type stuff because it would just take too long uh, to do it. And then next we have our um, our other mini case, which this one is a little bit more on the industrial side uh, because it can get the water cold in there and the air cold as well. We can get a hundred watt, a two hundred watt, and a three hundred watt pulse. This is strictly for the pulse machines. It's not for the uh, continuous wave machines. We do have other mini cases for that. I just don't have them displayed here. Um, we can build it however you want. It's totally up to you. This one, and you can actually see on this one how it can take the air in through the back as well. Pulls it in through the back and the front and then pushes it out the sides and the back. Um, this is kind of the go-to for people that are wanting to have the 200 watt pulse on an industrial level. Now we can put bigger tires on this one as well. Um, just most people are using it for indoor purposes only. Um, and that's why we just sell these. We are, we have done some reverse engineering because most of the machines you see, you'll see that the, the wind up for the hose and the same place to put the wand. And I'm talking about the, the wand is this part right here. Um, sorry, I can't point to it right now. It is the part where the where it clicks in. Most companies are putting both of that on the same side. It gets kind of tight, so that's why we had it moved over to the other side. And, of course, there's a back support right here that actually holds the hose up away from the exhaust vent. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, there are options to put, instead of the display being on the front of the machine, there's an option to have the display put on the top of the machine versus our logo or your logo. Uh, as well and again this is, can be the 300 watt pulse mini as well versus the other 300 watt uh, miniature version of the machine so anyway guys I just want to kind of go over it with you and let you know what's happening with the machines I hope you enjoyed this video should you have any questions give us a call we do have a flash show going on this week um, uh, and the dates are below uh, attached to the video and give us a call if you want more information Talk to you soon. Thanks.